Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I say welcome, welcome to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, your host, as it's about to go down, everybody. So today is a special day. Not only am I live doing Dragon Sports Live, but I'm on live on Instagram and Facebook. So be sure to check it out. You can also check me out on Twitter at DragonJumpPro at gmail.com. I'm live now, but we got another exciting show for you two guys. It's about to go down. Kyler Murray is out, um, torn ACL. Give you more details about that, as well as Steph Curry might be missing multiple weeks. Coming up on Drag Sports Live, but if you're new to this, Drag Sports Live is a show that talks about sports. Not only that, we're going to give you music, music from people that you know, people that you want to hear from. Show your support to them. That's the best way to do it. That is Dragon Sports Live, everybody. And what better way than to start the show off with some awesome music here on Dragon Sports Live. So, we gonna get in it. So let's start our show off right. Those who just tuning in on via lives, welcome. Those who are entering, you about to listen to Trey, Jesus Take the Wheel on Drag Sports Live. Check it out. What if I died while I was driving on an e-way? Just a vision in my mind on replay. Maybe I crash but survive still. While I'm at my wheel, I'm unable to keep my eyes peeled. Looking everywhere but the road, my mind's ill. Wish I could steal time, rewind a ill mind. But every time that I roll, feel like the time still. And in my mind, I'm wondering how I still drive. I'm worse than a drunk while I'm driving. Every other bump, I'm reminded I ain't in your will and it ain't in a trunk while I'm driving devil try stunt I'm colliding Jesus take the wheel I'm worse than a drunk while I'm driving every other bump I'm reminded I ain't in your will and it ain't in a trunk while I'm driving devil try stunt I'm colliding Jesus take the wheel drive for me drive for me Lord Drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Take the wheel. I reflect in my thoughts How you took the will when your body was stretched on the cross We was reckless and off You accepted our flaws We was merging the lanes before exiting off We deserve every wage Talking death from our boss We don't deserve what he gave But you deserve every praise Cause you emerged from the grave And now death that a loss Now every person is slave Get their papers and walk Jesus take the will I'm worse than a drunk while I'm driving Every other bump I'm reminded I ain't in your will, and it ain't in a trunk while I'm driving. Devil try stunt, I'm colliding. Jesus take the wheel. I'm worse than a drunk while I'm driving. Every other bump, I'm reminded. I ain't in your will, and it ain't in a trunk while I'm driving. Devil try stunt, I'm colliding. Jesus take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. I need you to drive for me. Jesus, take the wheel. 
Drive for me, drive for me, Lord. Need you to drive for me. Take the wheel. Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. That last song you just heard was called Just Another Shot. Back on my back. Big Luvi in the building. So be sure to check him out on Dragon Sports Live. And we got most music coming on the way. We got Black Sam Moses on there. All music, all artists that I'm list that y'all playing, y'all can check it out on Dragon Sports Live. On iTunes, on Spotify, iHeartRadio, wherever you get your music from. The same thing you can do for this podcast. You can check it out on Drag Sports Live. Matter of fact, you're going to be able to soon to check it out on DragonJumpPro.com, which is my new invent, improved website. So Drag Sports Live will be on there, but you can also catch it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Apple, I mean not Apple, Amazon Music, all places where you get your podcast at so be sure to check it out there but exciting news look quiet it's um basically a little quiet for the offseason for our baseball as far as the cubs and socks i would say because the last big sign that they signed was mike kellabinger and james Tomlinson and cody bedger them the only two that came to the city one going two going to South, I mean, the north side, and one going to the north side. But it's been kind of quiet. Like, especially for the Cubs, who said they was going to attack free HC, um, hard-hitting free HC, and they was just going to go wild with it. They was going to go crazy with it. But they didn't. So it's been kind of hard for them. And they've been quiet. But the Cubs, on the other hand, they just signed another player. So this is the third player that they signed so far. Cubs signed Bragg Boxberger. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a one-year deal, $2.8 million deal. Um, he's a right-hand reliever, so he's a closer. 
and we'll see what happens with that. He was with the Brewers. Um, yeah, he was with the Brewers for the last two seasons, but they declined his uh three million ten team option. So let's see what we what you gonna work with with the Cubs like. Let's just see. Um, yeah, no Christmas songs going on right now. I'm, nah, I might. I don't know. But yeah, let's see what's going on with the Brewers. Let's see what's going down. Um, he came in. He's 34 years old, and I feel like we shouldn't be going after another. We should go younger, to be honest. Like, yes, the older are doing better and performing better, but I really feel like we should go younger. Like, we got all this talent in draft prospects and people that's playing overseas. Go a little bit younger. Like, even though he posted a point, a 2.95 ERA, which is good. That lowered that number up better, but you got 68 strikeouts with 27 walks. So, like I say, he's a decent closer. I just, to be honest, I feel like we should go a little bit younger. Just get some youth at pitching. Let them be able to throw that heat. Get somebody that can throw a 100-mile fastball, a 100-mile slider consistently. That's what I think the Cubs should do. Uh, to be honest, that sounds like a good plan, right? They should do that. But other than that, we got a lot of um, off-season signings. So, Mets signed. Well, Mets has been busy. I can say that. I can say that. They have signed center field Brandon Nemo to an eight-year, $162 million contract. They signed right-hand pitcher David Robeson to a one-year deal worth $10 million. Mets also signed Kadai. Senegal on a five-year, $75 million deal from overseas. And, you know, they had the other big deal. So, it's like, they've been busy. Wish I could say the same for the Cubs. Right-hander Noah Senegal, he and the Dodgers reached a one-year contract. So, he's there. But he already joined the All-Stars, Julio Urias, Clayton Crowshaw, and Tony Goslin. So he's joining them. Okay. More moves. Dodgers been kind of busy as well. And, you know, the Brewers acquired infield Owen Miller from the Guardians, which used to be the formerly the Cleveland Indians, but now they are the Guardians. So... We got those trades happening. And then we still got quiet season. Um, Tigers, Detroit Tigers, reportedly agreeing to deal with right-hand pitcher Michael Lorenzen. So we got that as well. And, you know, it's basically a quiet baseball season. So it is what it is. We're going to take it one day at a time. We're going to let y'all know what's going on with that. And what happens? But like I said, it's a very quiet baseball season. It's off season. We got winter meetings. We just had winter meetings. So now we're going to see what happens with the rest of the season. We still got coaches and spots needs to be filled. And we might have a couple rule changes in the mix. So we will see that on that from things to come. But eh, that's enough about baseball. I got a little bit more music. I got Black Sam Moses here on Dragon Sports Live. Check him out. Like I said, any artists that you see and hear on here are artists that you might know, are people that are working on their music, or you didn't even know it was artists. So be sure to check them out. Follow after Black Sam. I got Mr. True Hood on there, and he got a couple Christmas songs coming down. So we're going to get it in. We're going to get it cracking. And we're going to relax. And if you're just tuning in, you are listening to Dragon Sports Live. It's a show not just about sports, but we give you music as well. So, 
let's go back into the music and then follow the music. We got a lot to talk about in the NFL. Yes, and NCAA football as well. Lots to talk about. Coaching changes, moves everywhere. Let's get it. Y'all know what it is. But listen to Black Moses here on Dragon Sports Live, and we'll be right back after this music break. White people less apprehensive when I'm in the Montclair. Something I recently noticed. The twelves to stop me as bogus. Say they out of jealous of filling their quotas. Front them pull up on the lotus. It's carrying my coat. He puffing, I'm potent. The seat is the lowest. It go, I could tell by the slowness. He totally loaded and trying to stay focused. I 55, I swollen. He stepped by the whip. The get niggas rolling. He finished a split from crushing with force on the ground. I think that he trying to be Moses. Cardi lens, continuing with roses. Maybe that's why I'm not tweaking about the thrombosis. Sitting in the passenger, feeling real cozy. Then when they hit me, I start on this opus. Marvin been serving the crap. Go to my notes, start writing this track. I'm playing the beat and repeat on the speakers, the bass in the back, compete with the pack, the pace of attack, I keep his attack, it really could go from a flurry to calm in a hurry, I'm tired as hell, my vision is blurry, me and his threats like Mitchell and Murray, I cannot fuck with no Michelin stars until I see portions, if I throw hundreds on food and I'm not even full at the end, that shit is extortion, asking the driver to hit the Portillo's, there's so many options, needing an assortment, send me and beating, I'm torching, probably adding to your fame, adding to my fortune, yeah, slide on a shorty who thicker than Florida, air in the summer, she using my face as a chair, it's a bummer, we lean so I'm free. Because she a stunner, we bump it a bump. I think she a bomber because she keep a couple of them on her chest. In person, they bigger than I would have guessed. The pic she's sending me having me stress. I'm surfing a wave, I'm making a crest. Yeah. I'm the black Kelly Slater. New triple lesser, they came in afraid of so heavy. I steady been leaving these craters. I'm finally peeking the interest of playlist curators and industry folks. Most of them flaky, but some of them dope. I'm grateful I don't gotta lean on them like when a nigga's broke.
Welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. That was a Christmas song by Mr. True Hood. All music you can check out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iTunes, or wherever you get your music from. Same thing with this podcast. You can check it out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and more. So... If you are a local artist and you have music and you want to be heard on Dragon Sports Live, this is what you got to do. First, go to dragonjumppro.com. You can message me on there or you can go on social media, Dragon Jump Pro, and on all platforms Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Send me a message, shoot me your artist name. If you're on Apple Music, which I prefer that. If you're on Apple Music, shoot me your artist name on Apple Music. That way I can find you, add you to my list of all the great artists that I have, and I will feature you on my show. That is my way of saying support, and I like the music. You definitely going to see me get dancing and catch me dancing if you if I like the music, which I'm a man of music, so I really love it. Now, it is, it is Thursday. I'm not going to be able to watch football. Well, yeah, I am. I'm going to find a way to watch football. Because it's on Prime Video, y'all. So, that's the one thing I hate about uh, Thursday night. Because I can't watch it on NBC, Fox, ESPN. I can't watch it on none of those channels. So, you got to get Prime Video. Or if you got you know if you already got Prime, yeah, just pull up the game. If somebody pulling up the game, share me to it. Go live with it because I, I want to watch it. But anyways, so Cardinals lost Kyler Murray, torn ACL. We're going to see what that what the starting quarterback is going to be. It could be either Colt McCoy. It could be Rippin. But either way, they lost their starting quarterback to a non-contact ACL injury. He went down and yeah, it's like you just got back on the field. Now you're going back away. So I feel bad for them. Hopefully those other quarterbacks can step up. Here's the thing. I don't really know. Wait, is it? We're going to check the uh, fact sheet. Because Cardinals, like I said, I don't know who the Cardinals quarterback is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. So, Cardinals going to either run with Colt McCoy and Brett Rippin for the Broncos. So, Kyler's out. Russell Wilson is out. Brett Rippin is the um, Broncos backup, who's our, who's currently 3-10. And, um, and Kyler, they're 4-9. Possibly was gonna make a well card? Nah, they might be eliminated. They may be done. Y'all might as well take the rest of the way. Even though tank is not allowed, but just tank. Broncos been struggling this season. Uh, not really that many passing touchdowns, and Russell Wilson end up in the Bronco. The Cardinals, on the other hand, been looking good. Like they're three and two away, but seeing this can't get a win. Broncos is two and four at home. What that tell you? <laughs> if they're two and four at home, they are. <laughs> Whew, you know you want to know. Away, <laughs> one and six, y'all. <laughs> so it's crazy. Super crazy, actually.
And, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully they get better and come back with a strong season. Or you, you get some weapons. You know, get some weapons. Cardinals also did lose, lose longtime broadcaster Dang McLovin. He basically left after a DU, a DU, driving while intoxicated charge. So he left the booth. He's no longer in the booth. And he's gone, but, you know, let's see what it is. Let's see what goes from there. Deshaun Watson looking to play it. again. You got another game under his belt. Um, and let's see what it goes there. They did lose their last game, but that was week 14. So this is week 15. We starting tonight, guys. Yeah, they lost to the Bengals 23-10. Uh, couldn't really get nothing going. Like, that game looked a little bit sloppy. Like I said, he hasn't really thrown football. So, I'm going to give him, my prediction is to give him about, uh, I say I'm going to give him about two games, maybe three. Well, yeah, you only got like, what, two games. I'm, I'm going to give him this next game. So this upcoming Sunday, he should do well. He should do great. I don't know. But let's see. You know, maybe you just need the first two games to get the rust out your system. Let's see what how practice goes. Let's see how everything goes this week. So it is what it is. Jets, on the other hand, so... A lot of quarterbacks has been injured. Mike White was also injured. He injured his rip oblique area. We might see Flacco. We might see Wilson. Nope. Actually, Wilson would be reported as the backup. So, we might see Flacco again, who's a Super Bowl win quarterback with the Baltimore Ravens, in case anybody forgot. He's, getting, he's up there in age, but... Super Bowl winning quarterback with so he has the experience to take a team. It's just whether if he can do it or not. We had a lot of benches happen. Falcons also benched Marcus Mariota for Desmond Rilla. Riddler, who was Clemson's quarterback um last year before he came out the draft. Like I said, we'll see what what happens from there. So, I'm game with that. I want to see. I'm going to see that. Because this is his first career start. Like I said, they took him, I think, in the second round or third round. Either way, he he's a rookie. He's making a start. So, and also, who else was going to fight through it? Brock Purdy. He's going to make his... uh. Star, he's going to fight through the injury, but basically it's going to be a casual look for him. It's not going to be like, well, because he also, he was injured. So, like I said, we'll see what, what goes to there. We'll see Mike White. We'll see Brock Purdy. And it's crazy about Brock Purdy because, one, he made history. Because last weekend, well, last Sunday, he beat... Well, yeah, it was this, yeah last Sunday. He beat Tom Brady. And he was the first quarterback to make a career start and beat him because Tom Brady was 7-0 and against quarterbacks making their first start. So he was first to get in that win column. Looked it really good. You know, and then the second game, he got injured. Like I said, it, it's... It's a tough sport. It's a tough game. It's a tough go around. You don't want to. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't want to get hurt when you try your best to go forward and just be good. Like he's Mr. Irrelevant right now. Like I said, he was the last pick in the NFL draft. 
And he's playing through it. He's showing through it. So, he had a oblique injury, came back, played through it, toughed it out. Still lost, but may I say, he's been looking wonderful. Some quarterbacks don't come in the first round. Some of them come later. I think Tom Brady was, what, six, a six-round draft pick, if I remember correctly? He wasn't running that fast up 40. Like, you got quarterbacks that's running a very fast 40 nowadays. It's a difference. So, keep up the good work. Have Hopefully, have a better game. Just keep building on that confidence. That's my advice to you right there, Mr. Purdy. And we had a crazy weekend where Baker Mayfield led the Rams to a Thursday night victory, which is crazy because he just got with the team. That was last Thursday. And it was a 16-19 win, but he just got with the team. The team just signed two days ago. He basically came in the building. Thursday was his first time being in the facility. Huh. Ain't that a shocker. Well, sorry to hear that. As far as college football, we got trophies to hand out, y'all. So, college football playoffs is happening now. Bowl games is coming up, I think, either this week or next week. Well, we got some starting this weekend. So, bowl mania. But also award mania. So, we got a Heisman winner, y'all. We also got, and that Heisman winner is UFC Caleb Williams. Now, for those who haven't been watching football, Caleb's been a monster. Whether he's using his legs or his arms, he's been doing his best to lead his team to victory. No matter what happens and how it goes, he's still been doing his best to lead that team to victory. That's why he got the Offensive Player of the Year award, you feel me? He got the Maxwell Award and the Walter Kemp Award. And... He's the first to receive that award as far as a UFC chosen since Marcus Allen in 1981. So, good, big ups to him. TCU Max Dungan, which was second in the Heisman Trophy running, he got the Darby O'Brien Award and the QB Award. So, he was the best QB of that, you know, of his division. To be honest, the Heisman Trophy really hasn't went to a running back or receiver in quite a while. Last few years, it's been wide, like quarterbacks. So I would love to see a Heisman Trophy go to a running back. We did have somebody in the running. Um, B. John Robinson, he's, he got the Docs Award. He was in the running. Like, we had a couple, a lot of great players in the running as far as these awards, Michigan Center, which is awarded for the best center in college football, is the Remington Trophy and the Outland Trophy. So, and then Wilson Jr., Wilson Anderson Jr., which, by the way, I think the Bears should get with that third pick if they still keep that third pick. We, like, we need somebody to get off the line. We need line defensive backs. Offense alignment. We need it all. Like, I like what I see from our rookies. Even though we traded all the way, all of our um, assets. We traded Roquan Smith. We traded Robert Quinn, which we played this weekend. We played Robert Quinn. So, the Bears take on the Eagles this weekend. Hopefully, the Bears can get away with a victory. Hopefully not. But, I'm just hoping that they get a win. They get a couple win, couple more wins under their belt and then, like, not have the worst season like this. Because it's like, it's looking good for Justin Fields. Don't get me wrong. Justin Fields is looking great, but he has no protection still. And I stress this enough. We need protection for our quarterbacks. Quarterbacks is getting manhandled. I think we're, like, fourth on the list as far as quarterback getting hit. I know the Bengals is up there. So, let's protect our quarterback, y'all. Let's protect him. And, you know, let's keep it moving. Lions creeped into the wild card plate with their last game victory. And 
on top of that, the last play of the Lions last game was to a lineman, which I was not expecting that to happen, but he caught the ball, got the first down. And they called they best he called the game because it allowed them to run the clock some more clock. I wasn't expecting that. What the coach said was, I got distracted by the crowds. I didn't realize that we was throwing it to an offensive lineman. I'm like, wait, how you get distracted by the crowd to realize that you was throwing the ball to the offensive lineman? He caught the ball, though, so I give him that. Uh, Ooh, excuse me. That came out of nowhere. Eagles, on the other hand, I did speak. They play against the Bears. They already clinched the playoff spot, so now they're just playing for buys and maybe the the the. Uh, I think they need this game and the next game they can get the title, their championship title, their comfort title. So let's see how that is. Let's see how that goes. But I think I've done enough. Talking and ranting. No, I didn't. XFL will be coming. So, February 2023, we will have the new XFL. And, like I said, the teams, some of the team names, the teams are bad, but the threads look dope. We also going to see Heinz Ward as one of the head coaches for the XFL teams. So, that would be good to see. And, it was crazy because his team thread is black and gold. So we'll see what what that looks like when it comes. But eh, without further ado, coming up next on Dragon Sports Live, we gonna talk about South Dakota men's basketball, Steph Curry, and the Chicago Bulls, and more here on Dragon Sports Live. Like I said, we got lots of news happening here but without further ado we're gonna go right back into our music here on dragon sports live and that's the best way to do it y'all it's full of examples of god speaking this is mouthpiece over and over and over back check it out on dragon sports live they say he don't talk but he talk back they say he don't talk but he talk back when i call on his name in the midst of my pain it's a shift something changed when he call back call back where i need to be where the walk at if i need to go i fall back Cause many don't know, they ain't taught that talk Got sheep, know his voice, what you call that? call that? They say he don't talk, but he talk back They say he don't talk, but he talk back When I call on his name in the midst of my pain It's a shift, something changed when he call back Call back. Tell me where I need to be, where the walk at If I need to go, I fall back Cause many don't know, they ain't taught that talk Got sheep, know his voice, what you call that? Somebody try to tell me he ain't talking much So if you wanna hear him, pick your Bible up Especially if you need a word when your life get rough in a cycle stuff when your mic is snuffed Cause that's the only time he talks and enlightens us That was taught by the ones that discipled us And I ain't just saying stuff to ignite the scuff But the Bible didn't tell me who my wifey was But it said I was a sheep and a sheep know his voice So I hear him when he speaks, know the streets to avoid I know a job to take, I know a place to live I know a church to join, how much cake to give There's a time and a season for everything To embrace or frame, that's a heavy change Without his voice, I be trying to play every lane Without his voice, I be justifying Mary Jane Lord knows, the Lord ain't tell me to buy more clothes but he did tell me to buy four loaves And he did tell me to find poor souls And teach and see so Receive the Holy Ghost Whatever's crooked Come straight like scoliosis Spend time in God's presence And overdose it Till you come out saying What God told you And most gonna say You gon' post it Cause they don't believe He still taught They walk and still born They faith in white chalk They might and will born They commentate and Some don't know better Some run with Satan Some You gotta pray for them Cause they pray on you You gotta show them love When they hating on you You gotta just trust What he told you he trying to build something like a mogul. Blah. They say he don't talk, but he talk back. They, talk back. they say he don't talk, but he talk back. Talk when back. I call on his name in the midst of my pain, it's a shift, something changed when he call back. Call back. Tell me where I need to be, where the walk at. Walk at. If I need to go, I fall back. Fall back. Cause many don't know, they ain't talk that. Talk got sheep, know his voice, what you call that? Call that. They say he don't talk, but he talk back. Talk back. They say he don't talk, but he talk back. Talk when back. I call on his name in the midst of my pain, it's a shift, something changed when he call back. Call Tell back. me where I need to be, where the walk at. Walk at. If I need to go, I fall back. Fall back. Cause many don't know, they ain't talk that. Talk got sheep, know his voice, what you call that? Call I know that. some prophets for profit who focus on popular topics. Don't play me, I read the same thing in the fortune cookie. Using the money to try to hook me. You've been looking for answers in all the wrong places. Google don't got it, and that is amazing. Smoke. 
purple haze and it just make you lazy you want resolution then get on your faces get into prayer for high definition we learn to listen through high repetitions highly efficient mighty consistent you get the answers when mighty persistent and put the flesh into a body bag pray for repentance from sinful conditions and meditate like it's karate class chopping it up with the master he ain't with the games he ain't with the play play pay no attention to the naysay pay close attention to the voice of god so much so that you don't hear what they say and that's two-way communication i don't even care what your mama knows sorry this an a and b conversation and a c finna make me mr honor roll i'ma need you to fall back i love you and all that but lately i've been talking to my god he talked back i prayed and heard that i dreamed and saw that to you it's all fluff to me it's all facts uh i ain't gotta run to the preacher man uh the boy ain't lost no peter pan uh i don't even care what the street is saying uh god been talking see what he is saying what he is saying say he don't talk but he talk back talk back say he don't talk but he talk back talk back when i call on his name in the midst of my pain it's a shift something changed when he call back call back Tell me where i need to be where to walk at walk at if i need to go i'll fall back fall back Cause many don't know they ain't talk that talk got sheep know his voice what you call that call that say he don't talk but he talk back talk back say he don't talk but he talk back when I call on his name in the midst of my pain, it's a shift, something changed when he call back. Call back. Tell me where I need to be, where to walk at. Walk at. If I need to go, I'll fall back. Fall back. Cause many don't know, they ain't taught that. Talk that. Got sheep, know his voice, what you call that? Call that. All you do call is that. ever talk to him in prayer, and you never hear God speak to you, that isn't much of a relationship. Stop. We ain't never gonna stop. Might 
just what they look at. We ain't never gonna stop. 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 Might as well keep looking. We ain't never gonna stop. We ain't never gonna stop. We ain't never gonna stop. Might as well keep looking. We ain't never gonna stop. We ain't never gonna stop. We ain't never gonna stop. Might as well keep looking. We ain't never gonna stop. We ain't never gonna stop. We ain't never gonna stop. Might as well keep looking. Sorry about that little feedback, ladies and gentlemen, but welcome back to another edition of Dragon Sports Live. I'm Dante Payne, and you just tuned in, you are listening to Dragon Sports Live. If you missed the show, oh, don't worry, you can catch the show on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dragon Sports Live, and we... Back, baby. So, this NBA season has been he- heating up. I didn't watch the last couple games for the Warriors, who can't seem to catch a break on the road. They lost to, well, they got demolished by the Bucks. Very frustrating game for that. I've watched that game through. Like, they was getting frustrated because they weren't getting fouls called. Some fouls, like, they thought there was fouls. We had eight techs. We even had Giannis getting a bunch of 10-second violations. And it, like I said, if it's a 10-second violation, call it. Don't. Oh, he also got teed up for walking out the paint in that 10-second violation. So it's like, okay. But like I said, if it's 10-second, call it. Consistently, don't just call it all that time. And Like I said, that game was ticky-tacky back and forth. Like both both sides getting frustrated with the refs and they didn't want to say nothing about the refs because you get fined for talking about the refs, but both of these teams was literally frustrated, even to the point where Draymond was jarring again yet at a fan and had that fan taken out. Basically Draymond said he threatened my life and I'm like, okay, have him take it out. He didn't retaliate. He didn't curse them out because, again, that would have been another fine. There's a lot of fines and stuff in it, in, a, in NBA, NFL, and MLB. Certain things you just can't do. But as a fan, as far as Draymond case, a fan like if we can't do those, the fan can't do it either. Like we're just here to get paid, pay, do our job, put on the show, and play ball. Y'all job is to sit there and, and relax. Like, yeah, it's good to chirp and trash talk, but when you threaten somebody's life with something, it's a whole different story. Or it's still like you can trash talk, but still be respectful about it. Because like you said, fans are going to do that regardless at all these games. They're going to do that regardless. Just got to, you know, stick it in, relax, calm your mind, clear them. But you like they're not even here. And a norm. But sometimes it'd be hard to do that. Especially when you're frustrated and everything is not going the way that you want it to go. So it definitely be hard to do that. You know. It is what it is. You just got to work hard at it and keep going. Never give up. Striving for your goals. And ball out. That's the best way to say it. Ball out. But like I said... That game was very ticky tacky. The um, Giannis dominated them. Even though he had a poor shooting night, Giannis and the Bucks dominated the Warriors, and which the Warriors got the second worst record on the road. And then it shows in their next game, they lost their next game, but they also lost, may have lost Steph Curry for a couple of weeks. Why to the Pacers? Because he injured his shoulder. And so they might be without Steph Curry. And it's a difference when you don't have, like when you don't have, let me see, Thompson didn't play that game. Draymond, I think, played. But when you don't have, like, bench production, you know, you had Gary Payton. Uh, 
Juan Tusiask Anderson. Wiseman hasn't been in, in the, he's been, he's still in the G League, so they haven't, they'll call him up, send him back down, call him up, send him back down. It's like when you got the second worst win position as well as dead last bench production, it, it's, it's these to say, it's like, yeah, we're good at home, but, and I like Steph Curry as well. Like, that's one of my, one well, the Warriors is my team, so it's the Celtics and the Bulls. But when I see them struggle on the world, I get, I just get sad because it's like, we're great at home. We're 10 and 2 at home, but we suck on the road. And I'm just like, oh, oh, the agony. Because when it comes down to playoffs, two of those games are road games. So if they're road games and we got second row's record, that means we're we gonna be scared to go home and we gotta make sure we win at home every time. Cause once we bring it back, if we go back to their house, they might win. But it's also Steve Curry needs to work on his rotations a little bit more. Um I like if we can get wise men in there. Cause like I said, I watched the last two games. When teams are egging Draymond to shoot, I know Draymond can shoot and hit consistently, shoot that three, and Kaminga. When they you they leave you wide open and you don't take that shot, they don't have no faith in you, you making that shot. Yes, Draymond averaged, he almost averaged a triple-double per game, but he's only averaging 8.6 points a game. Eight rebounds a game and like eight assists a game. Draymond, you got to shoot the ball more. Like, show him that you can hit it. Show him you can be a first record. As I recall, when you when they when you get a triple double, you guys win. So, shoot that ball. Don't be if they're gonna give it to you. Shoot that mug. Shoot that ball. That's all I gotta say. Shoot that ball. And, you know, like I said, and then as far as the Bulls aspect, the Bulls has been, Bulls, yeah. Bulls has been, they've been okay. It's just the last couple games that I watched from them been nail biters. They lost to the Hawks off a crazy tip in. Well, I should say crazy layup tip it. Yeah, like a tip in. We guess we could call it tip in. Buzzer beater shot. Then they lost to the Knicks in overtime. It's showing me that they're missing out on ball, which we don't know if we'll see this season because he still continues to have knee issues. They're missing key defensive players that. You know, ball is defense. He may not score as much, but now one of my friends commented said that he they needed a whole new team. The, I think the team is good. It's just they're might need to switch up the rotations a little bit. Like don't have when you, with your big three, you got Vujicic, you got DeRozan, you got Levine. Okay, they gonna consistently give you scoring. Caruso. He's good, to me, he's good coming off the bench. Give him that six-man role. Let him come off the bench and go to town, like what the Lakers have been doing with Russell Westbrook. And it's been working for him because he come off the bench and still give you a triple-double. So let Caruso work the six-man position. Um, and we, we just get a rotation in. Like, we got, we got balls. We just got to utilize them. And we utilize to our strength. Like, we beaten teams that's top-tier teams. We have beaten Celtics. We beaten the Nets. We beaten some good teams. We beaten Dallas. We steamrolled Dallas, as a matter of fact. But those are some good-tier teams. We just need to take our time. Now, as far as my t- my other team, Celtics, I mean, they looking great right now. They played a good game against the Lakers. That game ended up going to overtime. Tatum and Brown going crazy. And 
like, I think they're playing their best basketball. They want to make it back to the finals where they lost to the Warriors last year. They felt like they should win. And, like, I just got the strangest feeling they're going to win it. And on top of that, they're working with a coach that's 34 years old. The coach is a year older than me, Joe Mazzulla. He is the youngest coach currently actively coaching in the NBA right now. And, like I said, they're continuing under Ume Adoka's regimen. Like, he did a good job with them. But ever since that scandal, Joe has took in and took it over. And they're looking great. They're, like, they're he's doing a great job with the team. That's all I can say with that. They're looking good. They beat, like, they beat the Lakers. They, they lost to the Warriors, but... Came back and beat the Lakers. The Warriors was, like I said, Warriors was at home. Good game at home. But Tatum and them couldn't get a good shooting game going. So it's like, we got those things happening for us. As far as the Celtics, we just need to keep utilizing, keeping that. They sitting at the top of the conference right now with the best record in the NBA. They are 22-7 and seven right now. So, like, like I said, keep playing y'all ball. Keep doing y'all. That's the best thing y'all can do. Keep it up. Keep rotating. Keep Just keep it up. It's a long season ahead of us. If y'all can keep this up for 82 games, <laughs> more power to y'all. It is what it is on that front, right? So, and that's what I say. It is what it is. Even though... The Celtics will, actually, they will get Caleb Williams back. Caleb Williams will make his uh, season debut versus the Magic. He was out with, a, I think he had knee injury. He had a knee injury, so he, or he had knee procedure done. So he was out, but he's back, which is a good missing part. We soon will get Al Horford back. And, you know, we're going to be a monster team. Come mess with them. Go mess with them if you want to. You just got to be able to shut them down. Um. So, Nets last game, they set eight players, right, versus the Pacers. They got fined 25000 just for sitting eight players. They still won that game, though. They they won that game without eight, with, with those eight players. But why... Like I said before earlier, these fines is crazy. We get fines for yelling at a fan. We get fines for yelling at the ref. They get a fine for talking about the re- like the referee and stuff like that. Even, but it's still funny. Like y'all get fined even though you got like what's what's the the head referee said? Oh, that that should have been a travel call. And you see in in, in a tweet or like a statement from the NBA is like that call should have been this that call should have been that but yet you still find people for saying that that call should have been called even a couple like yes they miss sometimes sometimes they get caught watching the game that happens but be be you know be diligent with it but yeah, twenty five thousand after sitting eight players, and it was like I guess it was failing to comply with league policies governing injury reporting. Cause who's yeah in the wake who's all of a sudden Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, uh, Ben Simmons, Nick Casson, Seth Curry, Russell O'Neal, Joy Harris, and T.J. Warren. I was just showing you that he don't need that his main guys to beat this Pacers team who's been good. And it was basically uh, what they said. Jock Vaughn said they was able to do that because of the injuries that was previously documented. But like I said, 25,000 is a lie, but you know, the owner... He's okay with it. He got it. 
He definitely got it. He's good. He will be okay. Hawks do lose Clint Capella. He will be out one, two to two weeks with a strained calf. Usually when I hear strained calf, I always think about ACL. Sometimes that can lead to that. I mean, not ACL, um, rupture Achilles tendon injury. So I always get different when they say that. Um, Mavericks will lose center forward Maxi Kaliba. He'll be out indefinitely with a torn hamstring. So he'll be out. He He's another big man who can come off the bench and shoot threes. And he signed a, thir- a three-year, $30 million deal. So we'll see without him. Like, it's a big part of them because with him on the court, the Mavs have allowed 108 points per 100 possessions with Cleveland on the court. And without him, it goes up to 114 without him on the court. And he's on only Mavs. Yeah, he's the only Mavs player, I should say Mavs rotation player, with a positive on and off this ritual and defensive rating with reserve Josh uh, Green, who has missed the last three games with sprained elbow. So we should see him back in the lineup. And we also seen LaMelo back in the lineup. But Pistons spoiled that for him. He came back and lined up. He was, like you say, he had an ankle injury, so he was a little rusty in the first half, but then he started heating up. But they, eh, he shot 50% from the field, 9 for 18, 23 points, and 11 assists in his first game since November 16th. So that's good for him, but... They still lost that game, and Steve Clifford ripped them. Was like, I only got five All Stars. Like, if y'all two folks don't try and do that and not on the game, then you know I don't have five All Stars on the court at one time. We got stars, so we got players. But yeah, he ripped his team for that. But I think anybody gonna rip their team after a devastating loss like that. So that, you know, that is what it is. South Dakota men's basketball coach Eric um, Peterson, he was injured on the fall at home, so he will not coach his next game versus University um, University of Irvine. He won't coach that next game. And then Arkansas loses star forward. Trevor Brazil as he's out with the remainder of the season with a torn ACL. So, like I said, them ACL injuries is dangerous even in football, basketball. Those are dangerous um, injuries because you lose that player for a whole year. Mission loses point guard. Jolin Litwell also with ACL injury. And we got a uh, fellow coach and three-time champion, Paul Silas passed away at 79. His son, Steven Silas, is coaching right now and is doing a great job coaching, but he was a coach with the last team because he was more than his father's depth, so he's with family. But they still got that win in his honor with John Lucas. Paul Sal- uh, Steven Silas is the coach of the Rockets right now. And like I said, Rockets are upcoming and – Basically, this season, you got teams that supposed to be what you call tank teams. Like, they just got a roster put together just to tank, and Utah is supposed to be one of those teams. But you got Jordan Clarkson stepping up, Laurie Markin stepping up, and I definitely think he's for most improved player of the year. Definitely think he's in the running for that. And we got, what is it, the Rockets stepping up. You know, Jalen Green and the Rockets are stepping up too. So it's like these are teams that you thought would be tank teams, but they're not. They're doing their best they can. Cleveland's looking great with the stars that they got. 
Because Cleveland's in third right now in the standings. So, like I said, prayers and condolences go out to Paul Salas family, which is Steven Salas and everybody else. And USA Basketball will play all their games in Mania when the next World Cup tournament happens for basketball. So, Let's see what that, but that's all I got for you guys this week. Tune in for another edition of Dragon Sports Live. Like I said, if you want to catch this show, you can catch it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Dante Payne, and I will be signing off. Until then, see you on the next episode of Dragon Sports Live. Peace out.